welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing this basic crochet pillow pattern. So it's basically just a really, really simple pillow. All you need to know how to do is a chain and a single crochet. So this is a great um, beginner project. Now I do have an extra special technique that you can see here. A little sneak preview. Stay tuned to the end of the video for the details on that fox technique. So if we go ahead and get started, I'm using some Vanish Choice um, oatmeal colored yarn and I'm going to be crocheting with a double strand of this. So all that means is I'm holding two strands together from two different skeins of yarn. So you're going to need two skeins of the Vanish Choice and an N or P hook. This is my Clover Amore hook. I love these hooks. These are my favorite. Um, and we're just going to start with a slip knot with our double strand of yarn there. We're just going to crochet with it as if it was one strand of yarn. So just hold it together in your hand as if it was one strand. It just makes it a little thicker, a little bulkier. Um, and we're going to go ahead and chain 31 here. So go ahead and get your slip knot and then chain 31. Now that we have 31 chains, we are going to single crochet in the first stitch from our hook. So that's insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And you're just going to single crochet all the way down the line. This pattern is super, super simple. It's very basic. If you are confused on uh, chaining or single crocheting, please see my Crochet Beginner series. There are individual videos on each of the uh, most basic stitches, and you will find a lot of help there. So if you're confused at all, Please consult those videos, but if you are confident, go ahead and single crochet all the way down the line. So we should wind up here with 30 single crochets, a line of 30 single crochets. So after we've crocheted all the way down the line, this is how it should be looking. And you can see my pillow form here is a 14 inch by 14 inch pillow form. That is the only other supply that you will need for this project. Make sure you have a 14 inch pillow form. Um, and I'm just kind of measuring to make sure that my strip is uh, matching up nicely to the size of that pillow form. Now we're gonna chain one and we're just gonna keep single crocheting all the way back down uh, our line. And this is what we're gonna repeat. So just chain one at the end of every row, turn and then single crochet back down the line. We're gonna do this for a total of 38 rows of single crochet, and we're gonna do that twice, once for the front and once for the back. So you should have two um, very even squares, 30 crochets across each row, 38 rows total, and you should do this twice. So the first time you're gonna finish off your yarn, but the second time we're not gonna finish that off. So you see that that's still attached to my working yarn there, attached to the two balls of yarn. Um, because now we're going to sew this together. So our 14 inch pillow form, we're gonna set aside. You can see that both of these fit very nicely there though, over that 14 inch pillow form. We're not going to be crocheting over the pillow form just yet. So go ahead and uh, get your working yarn from that last stitch in the 38th row of your second square, what would be the back of your um, pillow. And we're just going to insert our hook into one of the corners, doesn't matter which corner, one of the corners of our uh, front side of the pillow. It really doesn't matter which one's the front and which one's the back. Um, just make sure that both of your right sides are facing out because in crochet there is a right side and wrong side. Um, but with this pattern it's going to look pretty much the same on both sides. So if you can identify the right sides, make sure they're facing out, but if not, it's not a big deal. So here we're just going to single crochet all, of, all around the perimeter of these squares to get them together. So we're just going to insert our hook into both of the squares, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. So it's a basic single crochet just like we've done a few hundred times now for the front and back of our pillow. We're just going to match up and basically create a seam running all down the side here of our pillow. So we're going to insert our hook into one of the squares, um, that top row of stitches, and then into the other squares top row of stitches. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way around. So go ahead and work down this line 
um, across the top. If you have any questions about um, how to do this technique or anything that kind of slows you down or messes you up, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments uh, section below. I am happy to help. I try to watch out for comments as much as I can and get back to just about everybody that leaves a comment, especially if you have a question. Um, so please don't hesitate to ask questions. I am definitely here to help you guys. Um, but this is very straightforward. Um, I wanted to do something that was very easy, very simple. Uh, toward the end of this video, there will be a bit of a uh, exciting twist to this pillow. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So you see that in that corner, coming around that corner, I did do some extra stitches. I sped it up here just for the sake of time. I didn't want to have a half hour long video. Um, but so in each corner, you're just going to work three single crochets in the same stitch. So all that that looks like is as you're coming around the corner and you get to where you're stitching in that very last stitch of the row, and you're going to have to turn the work and come down the other side. Instead of just working one single crochet in that corner spot, go ahead and work three single crochets in that same area. What that's going to do is it's going to create a nice, more pointed corner. If you were to just do one single crochet in that corner area and then proceed down the next side, what that would do is basically pull it and make it look more rounded and it's going to pull the stitches um, around that corner and not really give you any slack or any extra um, leeway there. So we definitely want to do three single crochets in each corner. So here we are coming around the third side and just go ahead and single crochet everything together. Your stitches should all line up. Um, if you did the front and the back identically with 30 single crochets in each row and 38 rows, all of your stitches should line up perfectly and you should just, this should be smooth sailing at this point. So coming to the end of that third side, you don't want to uh, come down that fourth side just yet. So after we worked in that corner, here we are working the corner. After we've stitched in that corner our three stitches, we're going to take a moment and I go ahead and take my hook out. Um, basically what we have here is a giant pocket. So we've sewn three sides together, we've crocheted three sides together, and we have the fourth side still open. So it's basically one giant pocket. We're going to go ahead and get our 14 inch pillow form into that pocket. With this size I didn't want um, my crochet portion of the pillow to be too big. So you might have to kind of stuff the pillow in there to do this last bit of crocheting. It's going to be a little tight, um, but it just makes for a really nice result in the end. So stuff that pillow in there as best you can, and we're just going to single crochet down um, this last side. You, you see that I'm kind of working with it, and you know it, it takes a little bit of more creative maneuvering than uh, doing the first three sides and stitching those up. So just be patient with it. It is not a difficult task. It's just kind of tedious. So here we are just stitching along that last fourth side and just kind of stuff that pillow form as best you can in there. And I go ahead and tuck any loose ends or strands or anything into just inside the pillow pocket basically and then you can weave your ends after this stage so here we are coming to the last couple of stitches go ahead and stitch those up all the way down still proceeding with single crochets all the way around the perimeter here don't change the stitch that you're doing if you want to do slip stitches um, you can I prefer doing the single crochet just because it kind of adds a little bit of a uh, finished border to the edge of my pillow. It makes it look almost like it has kind of like a piping there. So that is it. Now you just need to finish off your yarn and weave in those ends. And you have a beautifully done uh, basic pillow. So here it is all finished and in my son's nursery. I did do a little something extra special with this pillow. Um, here is the back side of it as we've just done 
and ta-da, there is the front side. So I will have a video being released very, very soon, hopefully in the next couple of days, guys, teaching you how to do this cross stitch on crochet technique. So make sure to be watching out for that. It's super simple. A brand new beginner can do it. Um, so make sure to watch out for that video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.